he launched the UK's biggest private litigation case ever. Now Boris Berezovsky has lost his claim for nearly $5 billion in damages from his former associate Roman Abramovich for allegedly threatening him into selling his assets at a knockdown price. I am absolutely amazed what happened today. I surprised completely and uh, uh, particularly because uh, uh, Lady Gloucester uh, took, up a, took responsibility to rewrite Russian history. The judge here at London's commercial court called Boris Berezovsky an inherently unreliable witness, saying at times it seemed he was making up the evidence as he went along. By contrast, she praised Roman Abramovich for his honest approach to answering questions. The pair are among Russia's most famous so-called oligarchs, making fortunes from former state companies after the Soviet Union collapsed. Berezovsky claimed that in the mid-1990s, he, an associate, and Abramovich persuaded Russian President Boris Yeltsin to let them create the private oil firm Sibneft. These two oligarchs were given a chance to purchase a state-owned oil company for a fraction of its real value. Well, I can, I can tell you that they bought it for $120 million, whereas its price when it was sold was $13 billion. So, basically, uh, people probably got a notion from that that the oligarchs ruled Russia in the 1990s. In 2000, Boris Berezovsky fell out with the new president, Vladimir Putin. It was then Berezovsky claimed that Roman Abramovich threatened to have his assets, including Sibneft, expropriated by the Russian government unless he sold them for $1.3 billion. Berezovsky was given asylum in the UK in 2001 and faces arrest if he returns to Russia. By contrast, Abramovich, who bought Chelsea Football Club in 2003, travels between London and Moscow and remains on good terms with the Russian leader. His fortune's been estimated at $15 billion. The judgment means he won't have to pay a hefty slice of that to his former associate. Nadine Barber, Al Jazeera.